Hi guys welcome to my YouTube channel, Tech Chips. Stay tuned for latest tech updates. Please subscribe and press bell icon to get latest technology new and updates. In this video we are going to talk about Microsoft. Net Framework 5. Microsoft. Net Framework, what is next? Recently Microsoft announced that it's going release a new version of Net called Net 5, this new version will have all the features that are there in Net Framework and Net Core at present and more. Microsoft is expecting to release .NET 5 by November 2020. As per Microsoft .NET 5 is going to be a single unified platform for building software for all the platforms and devices. So what does .NET 5 is going to look like? Here is how .NET 5 ecosystem may look like. Currently, there are two versions of .NET .NET Framework and .NET Core. But in near future there is going to be only one version of .NET and that will be .NET 5. .NET 5 takes the best features of .NET Core, .NET Framework, Xamarin, and Mono to provide libraries, APIs, and runtime to build applications for Windows, Web, Mobile, and IoT devices. So what is latest and current in terms of .NET and C Sharp? C Sharp 8.0 is the latest version of C Sharp language that is supported in Visual Studio 2019. .NET Core 3.0 the current version. Both of these technologies will later be converted to a .NET 5. One good thing that I foresee in term of .NET 5 and its capabilities which will make this version of .NET the most compelling version ever. Uh. You can write code for any platform be it Windows, Mac or Linux, it's nature of open source. Availability of this framework for broader range of open source technologies like the ones used in big data. Imagine you writing machine learning code in C-Hash. These features can make .NET 5 the very widely used framework for future software development. .NET 5 is a unified platform, what does that mean? Well, .NET 5 will be providing libraries frameworks tools and APIs to build, test, run, and deploy software that targets all platforms including Windows, Linux, IoTs, MacOS, iOS, Android, tvOS, watchOS and WebAssembly, and all devices including desktops, web browsers, IoT devices, tablets, mobile phones, and many more. Does not this make .NET 5 future software development framework? So if you think and look back we have so many platforms tools and technologies, we sometimes end up using for an enterprise software solution. And in reality when we work with these different tools and tech and platform it becomes quite painful to build seamless software. Now here with .NET 5 we will kind of having everything under one room for creating enterprise software solutions and I think that why we can call .NET 5 as a unified framework. And that is going to happen very soon. Microsoft plans to have first release of .NET 5 out in November 2020. Here is the details schedule of .NET 5 future releases. As you can see here Microsoft has already announced the release dates of next version of .NET 5 which are .NET 6.0, .NET 7.0, and .NET 8.0. While .NET 5.0 will be released in November 2020, the version 8.0 is expected to be released in November 2023. Also you want to notice one more thing here that from the above .NET release roadmap, almost all the important releases are going to be available in November every year. Now it's time to look at the core features of .NET 5. .NET 5 key features are here. .NET 5 is a single unified platform for everything including Windows, Mac, Web, Mobile, Cloud, IoT, Gaming, Machine Learning and Data Science. .NET 5 is managed by open source community and supported by Microsoft. .NET 5 is going to be cross-platform and for any device anywhere in the world. .NET 5 will be supports all major platform capabilities for .NET Framework .NET Core and Xamarin including Windows Forms, WPF, UWP, ASP.NET MVC, Entity Framework, Link, which looks very obvious but I think for that people at Microsoft will have to do lots of work. .NET 5 of course will be scalable, fast, and high performance. .NET 5 will also have features like small quick deployment. .NET 5 will have support of the most productive IDEs and tools including Visual Studio, VS Code, VS for Mac, and Command Line Interface CLI, which is an outstanding feature. .NET 5 and web development with ASP.NET. With .NET 5 we will be able to develop web application for all platform using ASP.NET, so imagine your ASP.NET web app running on Mac and Linux and also on Windows. ASP.NET will be kind of open source technology with .NET 5. 
and ASP.NET will have all existing plus more features for cross-platform web application development. Not only that it's going to be unification of other application development practice like desktop applications and mobile application and REST full service development. .NET 5 will be having support for Windows Forms, WPF, UWP and Xamarin-based application development. At present WPF allows developers to build modern Windows desktop applications using XAML and C-Sharp. In past WPF was supposed to replace WinForms and for new apps, it has done so but WinForms still continues to be used for legacy Windows desktop applications. And that will be case even after the release of .NET 5 framework. Old technologies which are good will die hard. It take time to replace everything with something new. So we can say that there is going to be a shift but it will be kind comfortable. Runtime Experiences Mono is the original cross-platform implementation of .NET. It was made available as an open-source alternative to .NET Framework and transitioned to targeting mobile devices as iOS and Android devices became popular. Mono is the runtime used as part of Xamarin. Core CLR which is the runtime used for .NET Core. This runtime has been primarily targeted at supporting cloud applications, including the largest services at Microsoft, and now is also being used for Windows Desktop, IoT and machine learning applications. If you talk about the Netcore and Mono runtimes together then they have a lot of similarities, they are both Net runtimes after all, but also valuable unique capabilities. So we can say that it makes sense to make it possible to pick the runtime experience you want. Microsoft is in the process of making Core CLR and Mono drop-in replacements. Microsoft will make it as simple as a build switch to choose between the different runtime options. Now let's have a look at few more features of .NET 5. The new framework and its related technologies are going to be bring a paradigm shift for .NET. With .NET 5, a developer's code and project files will look and feel the same no matter which type of app a developer is building. The developers have access to the same runtime, API and language capabilities with each app. That even includes new performance improvements that will be provided to CoreFX, practically every day. So will everything you love about .NET Core will continue to exist? And the answer is yes. Here is the list of existing features. Open source and community oriented on GitHub. Cross-platform implementation. Support for leveraging platform-specific capabilities, such as Windows Forms and WPF on Windows and the native bindings to each native platform from Xamarin. High performance. Side-by-side -side installation. Small project files, SDK style. Capable command line interface, CLI. Visual Studio, Visual Studio for Mac, and Visual Studio Code integration. On top, the existing features here's what will be new in .NET 5. You will have more choice on runtime experiences, more on that below. Java interoperability will be available on all platforms. Objective-C and Swift interoperability will be supported on multiple operating systems. CoreFX will be extended to support static compilation of net smaller footprints and support for more operating systems. More on how .NET 5 experience may be like. It is very important that the new framework continues to move forward as an overall platform with startup, throughput, memory use, reliability, and diagnostics. Diagnostics capabilities need to be the same across Net5, for both functional and performance diagnostics. It is also important to support the same chips and operating systems with the exception of iOS and WebAssembly. All Net5 applications will use the Core FX framework. All Net5 applications will be build able with the Net CLI, ensuring that you have common command line tooling across projects. Can we do machine learning with .NET 5? And the answer is yes. Machine learning in .NET is implemented via ML.NET. ML.NET is aimed at providing the end-end -end workflow for consuming ML into Net apps across various steps of machine learning, pre-processing, feature engineering, modeling, evaluation and operationalism. ML.NET 1.0 not only lets you build you custom models, you can also automate. It works everywhere including Windows, Power BI, Azure, and more. ML.NET is extensible and works with TensorFlow, ONNX, and Infer.NET. Now let's talk about IoT and devices development with Net5. 
Net5 will support Windows IoT devices and targets both ARM32 and ARM64 processors. UWP is used to build Windows devices apps running Windows 10 IoT Core. The apps can run on Raspberry Pi, Minoboard Max, Dragonboard 410C, and more. Interoperability in Net. Dot. Net will continue to work with other languages and libraries. Angular, React and other popular JS libraries are supported in Visual Studio and can be integrated in Net projects. Java interoperability will be available on all platforms. Objective-C and Swift interoperability will be supported on multiple operating systems. CoreFX will be extended to support static compilation of Net, ahead of time, AOT, smaller footprints and support for more operating systems. Last but not the least developer tools and integration with .NET 5. Visual Studio, Visual Studio for Mac, Visual Studio Code, and Command Line Interface, CLI, will be the major tools to build .NET 5 applications. Let's talk a little bit about what is being replaced. F-Core, Entity Framework Core is replacing F6 in the .NET Core Framework. ASP.NET Core, ASP.NET is replaced by ASP.NET Core. Check the migration guide for porting ASP.NET applications into ASP.NET Core. ASP.NET Core MVC, ASP.NET Core MVC Unified ASP.NET MVC and Web API. Check the migration guide for porting ASP.NET MVC app into ASP.NET MVC. MSIX, Microsoft's new packaging tool which replaces the old MSI package installer for desktop applications. JSON document, the new JSON document library from the system, text, JSON, JSON document API will replace JSON.NET. It is two to three times faster than the old JSON.NET. Here is the conclusion as a net developer, you should be excited for the future of net and the direction it goes. Since you will no longer need to learn JavaScript for SPA frameworks because Blazor will do that. You no longer need to learn Python for machine learning because ML.NET will do that. You no longer need to learn Android or Swift because Xamarin will do that. If you know C Sharp, now you can develop an application that can run anywhere from IoT to cloud. However, this change is going to affect a lot of enterprise customers who have the product framework based on WCF and web forms. References Here are two defenses which you can use to learn more about this new framework https colon slash slash devblogs.microsoft.com slash dot net slash introducing dash net dash five slash https colon slash slash dot net dot microsoft.com slash I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please do comment your views. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe for similar video updates.